Tonight's special segment, Turning Back the Hands of Time. The quest for a more youthful appearance usually starts with the face, but an increasing number of women are now focusing on their hands. Health Beat reporter Sylvia Perez has the story. It's been said that a woman's hands are the best indicator of her age. Now more and more women are looking to disprove that old saying, and they're doing so with the help of dermatologists and plastic surgeons offering dramatic advances to help hands look years younger. A manicure, even a massage, can help give hands a quick pick-me-up. But the dark spots, wrinkles, and those unsightly veins are still there. A woman's hands can tell a lot about her age. I thought, well, I, you know, doing something to make my, me feel good about myself is a good idea. 59-year-old Jean Brink recently had cosmetic surgery on her face and was feeling great about her fresher look until she noticed her hands. You can see the lack of volume in your hands, which then affects how your skin looks, and it just looks more wrinkled. The skin on the back of the hands is more delicate, and as we age, fat that normally pads this area begins breaking down. The result? You see more of the bones, muscles, and veins. Jean wants her hands to match her face, and plastic surgeon Michael Epstein has some solutions. First, sclerotherapy to eliminate the veins. It's the same procedure used to eliminate spider veins in the legs. You can easily, very easily uh, inject the backs of the hands and cause those veins to uh, thrombose, which is basically to clot off. Once they clot off, um, they just kind of shrivel up and uh, fade away. Then, in a more involved process called fat grafting, Jean's hands are plumped back up with small amounts of fat that is harvested from her leg, which are then redeposited in her hands through a syringe. The hand you see on the right has been treated. The one on the left has not. Your own. Uh, uh, inherent circulation actually can create uh, the, or, or help those fat cells survive and live there. There are more conservative approaches to rejuvenating hands and keeping them youthful. Dermatologist Omid Mamar says for starters, make it a habit to slather sunscreen on your hands. Number one cause of signs of aging on the hands is sun damage. If you're looking to diminish fine lines, there are topical vitamin A-based retinoid creams, such as Retin-A, which promotes skin cell turnover and collagen stimulation. There are pulsed light treatments that can target age spots and other laser-type treatments to help restore volume. You give deep heat and you build collagen, and you're reversing this thinning of the skin. Microdermabrasion can also be used on the hands to gently blast away damaged skin, leaving a smoother appearance. You scrunch, I'll hold. Jean is glad she went with the surgical procedures, and even though her hands are still healing, she likes what she sees. I want it just to seem natural, and so far that has been one real advantage of the procedures that I have done. They just seem like I just look better. You can expect to pay several thousand dollars for fat grafting and $300 to $600 for sclerotherapy. Other procedures, such as the laser treatments and microdermabrasion, will also run several hundred dollars. Again, doctors say one of the most inexpensive ways to help slow the aging process is to protect your hands from sun damage with sunscreen. Ron and Kathy, 